A mystery in Millington. A man and woman visit there. The woman is never seen alive again. The stories are very inconsistent. What he told her, what he told the police, and what he told his friends are all different versions. This is a cold case that has truly bothered detectives for decades. And what's so troubling is the lack of clues, conflicting statements, and the fact not many people are willing to come forward to talk about this missing mother. Millington, Michigan, a village with just over a thousand people. It's known as a bedroom community to Saginaw and Flint, a small town in the thumb with an unsolved mystery involving a Pontiac mother. They said she was a great mom. 25 year old Terry Sovey was a single mom living in Pontiac. Everything that's in the case file is that she's very well liked. Uh, great personality. According to investigators, Terry came to Millington back in the summer of 1984 with this man, William Bibby. Police say Bibby committed some thefts in that area while the two were visiting. Could those crimes have something to do with Terry's disappearance? Witnesses detectives tracked down don't want to cooperate. Because they're afraid because they didn't cooperate back in the 80s or 70s or how old it is that they're going to get in trouble now. So that's kind of the roadblocks you run into with, with a lot of that. We can tell you what William Bibby told investigators. He had stopped in Willington with Terry, and they had spent a few days there. The area she was last seen in was in Millington. Hand-drawn maps of the area the Pontiac mother was last seen are in the incident file. But a map of the location where she was last seen behind the farmhouse. Detectives say Bibby told investigators he and Terry wound up in this rural area. They parked the car there behind a farmhouse not far away from a swamp. We've walked through that area, but it's a huge area. Very undeveloped, swampy area. Bibby said he and Terry got into a fight and she met someone at that swamp and stayed there. He says he took off on foot, leaving his car behind as he claimed he had lost his keys. He's picked up by the police there and ends up getting charged for that retail fraud. She's never seen again. When they go back to the car, they find uh, her possessions. But no sign of the Pontiac mother. What really happened at that swamp that summer day in 1984? The stories are very inconsistent. What he told her, what he told the police, and what he told his friends are all different versions. One thing is consistent, all stories leave Terry Sovey in the swamp. As for Bibby, after Terry's disappearance, he served time in prison for the crimes he committed in Millington. He got out of prison and then he disappeared. No one has been able to find him. He's been missing since the early 90s. We don't know if he went missing intentionally because he had the warrants um, or if something happened to him. The Millington mystery, so many questions after all these years. Now detectives are hoping someone may finally come forward and help them find out what happened to Terry Sovey. Now detectives tell me canines did search that swamp, but came up with nothing. They're still trying to track down William Bibby. He did make a call to his brother, and that was back in 1993, but has never been heard from since. So if alive, he'd be 65 years old. I posted more on this case on the Defenders page of our website, clickondetroit.com, along with where to send some tips if you happen to have any information.